Good morning, and thank you so much for this reply. So, mantras are guided meditations on being able to overcome your resentment towards traumas and negative experiences so that you can continue to be the shiny black sheep that you choose to be. So in reading this reply, the very first place that I went was a mantra that I love to use on a really regular basis and it helps you throughout your day, it helps you with your relationships, it helps you with even showing up for yourself because sometimes we can get a little like lost and muddled in all of the energy that's happening as well as everything that's going on around us and really focusing on A, the reframing the neurological patterns around how you perceive people showing up for you. And then the next piece is taking back your power and really starting to recognize where you're subconsciously giving your power away and not owning who you are. So uh, for myself, like I get this, right? Like I grew up, I didn't really need or want for anything and different things like that. Like I love my family. There's certain things that you hear a lot of, oh, well, you have to be like this, or you have to do this, or you get told a lot of like, we'll do this to just be normal. And allowing yourself the opportunity and the space to be like, okay, I love and appreciate your opinions, your support, like who you are, uh, but I have to do this for me. And so something that you can do within yourself is sit in a quiet space, go into your like favorite little place. And yeah, this is totally not a car talk, but I got this when I got back and was already not in my car and I really just wanted to respond. So welcome to one part of my office. Uh, I have two different sections. So this is where I was guided to go for this part. So what I do is if you have a space where you can go into like a little quiet moment take five minutes this literally takes five minutes that's it it doesn't take a lot to let go of the emotions and the feelings that you're feeling right sometimes even if you're feeling like really really frustrated or upset or anything like that it's giving yourself the space to feel what you are feeling right so if you're frustrated and you just like feel that like rage boiling up in you there's nothing wrong with you going into a safe space or grabbing a pillow or something like that and connecting into that emotion and the root of what it is and allowing yourself to feel it and release it right so i've had moments where i live currently on the 19th um floor so i'm on the top floor of my apartment building and i've had days where just shit is pissing me off or you're just having a day right and i've literally gone out on my balcony and just screamed and just screamed for the sake of screaming it's not that in any way I'm trying to play into the victimization or the emotions or anything like that. It's not about feeding into the negativity. There is a healthy way to be able to feel the emotions that you're feeling and through the process of you doing that, you unlock what is actually going on beneath the surface. So a lot of the reasons, especially for us, even with like family and things like that, right? Like we hold ourselves back from radiating and shining our light as far out as it can go because we're afraid of outshining somebody. And that doesn't mean that that you're like any better than they are or you're putting yourself above them or anything like that. It is literally the process of you owning all that you are. So I invite you to go into a quiet space where you can sit, you can stand. If you can go outside and do this like barefoot on the earth, to me, it is like just that extra little bit of like pizzazz right or even going and putting your hands on a tree 
And so what I do is just like, if you're standing outside, right, you place your hands over your heart space, I always will put my left hand first, my right hand over top because my left is my receiving, my right is my giving. So I'm gonna receive the energy of unconditional love for my heart, I'm gonna wrap it around me, and then I'm going to give it back into my heart. So I'm giving it back to myself, and this is me receiving from myself and giving to myself. So it has nothing to do with anybody outside of you, right? And if you go into this like breathe moment and that process of finding that stillness within the now, then I just invite you to wrap those thoughts into a bubble and place them on a shelf to come back to later, okay? But we're going to place our hands over our heart, close our eyes. You've got your feet standing on the ground. You're going to breathe in through your nose. Hold the breath in your mind for... Like as you're holding that breath in your mind, do it for five seconds. So breathe in for five seconds, hold it for five seconds, and then you're gonna breathe out for 10. And when you're holding that breath in your mind, what I want you to do is visualize almost like that breath is like cleaning out all of the different nooks and crannies of your mind. Right, And so you're breathing that breath into your mind to cleanse that space, right? And so that light and that breath, that breath is purity, that breath is life, that breath is essence of your divine gifts and abilities and who you are, right? And so when you're cleansing your breath through your mind, you're pulling up all of the negative programs and thoughts and beliefs and experiences and everything like that to the level in which you're ready to let them go. <clears throat> so you're gonna breathe in for five, you hold for five, and then you breathe out for 10. You're gonna do this five times, okay? And as you're doing it, you can say it out loud or you can say it in your head. But what I do is I say, what's yours is yours, what's mine is mine, what we share, may it be blessed and surrendered with an unconditional healing, light, and love. Okay? So, we're going to give it a try, and I want to see how you feel after. So, getting comfortable, allowing yourself to become present, taking a big breath in. Five, hold, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold, two, three, four, five, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In, two, three, four, five, hold, two. And as you're breathing that light, I invite you now to say what's yours is yours, what's mine is mine, and what we share, may it be blessed and surrendered with an unconditional healing light and love. And as you do this, visualizing any cords, attachments, hooks, ties, and binds that are ready to be surrendered and released back into the divine. What's yours is yours, what's mine is mine. What we share, may it be blessed and surrendered with an unconditional healing light and love. So mode it be, I am grateful for being me. <sighs> Filling yourself up with that love, calling back all your power, you feel yourself lifting and growing. I hope this helps, and I look forward to checking out and chatting with you soon. Mwah! See you later. Bye.